Hey everyone, today is Saturday, February 10th, and it's Super Bowl weekend. Many people are getting ready to watch the big game. Some will be hosting cookouts at their house. Then there are others who could care less. They don't watch football at all. And I know some of you may be wondering, what does football in the Super Bowl have to do with the Genesis 6 Giants? Well, that's the reason why I'm putting up this video for you guys. Uh, it was on my old channel. I decided to repost. And so uh, it was actually during the Super Bowl that I saw a TV commercial. And it connected some dots for me concerning the Genesis 6 Giants. Let me just say this. The fallen have been living amongst us for a very long time. And they're getting ready to reveal themselves. And when they do, things like who won the Super Bowl, immigration, border control, and all the other things that we talk about, it won't matter because we will be having bigger trouble and bigger things to deal with. So enjoy the video. Um, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. God bless. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with the coat of mail. And the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam. So notice right here, this was some giant. This was some Nephilim to have such large armory staff of the spear like a weaver's beam and his height was so big so goliath of gath uh, his size is shorter compared to the giants of canaan the giants of canaan they say that we are like grasshoppers to them and they were carrying grapes where two men had to carry one stack of grapes see so these giants were like this uh if this was a human being then i'd be the giant that was like it was like that during deuteronomy Hey YouTube world, Harvest is Plenty. I hope all is well. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. I really appreciate your time and your support. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. And also chuckle at how hard they worked and still continue to work to hide the truth from us. They continue with the lies and the propaganda and to make you believe that all the stories in the Bible are just allegory or metaphors. But they really were giants in those days. And that Nephilim bloodline still do exist today. The rulers of the world, the so-called elites, they are from that bloodline. That's a video that I will be, you know, putting up for you guys soon. But turn your Bibles to Genesis 6, chapter 4. It says there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that. When the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. The children were called Nephilim, they were giants. They have existed back then, and they exist today. <laughs> There were giants on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men, and they brought children to them.
It is often said that the way to hide something from somebody is to hide it in plain sight. And that's what they often do with TV commercials and movies. They stick a lot of truth in various movies and various TV commercials. And sometimes we don't really pay attention and we don't get a chance to connect the dots. But that was in a TV commercial. And that was dealing with the giants from back then. But as the scripture says, also after that, meaning that was giants after the flood of Noah. David fought a giant. His name was Goliath. And there was a whole tribes of giants. The Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, so on and so forth. Many of them was in the land of Canaan, the land of milk and honey. It made the spies look like they were grasshoppers. You know, the disciples, they asked Jesus in the book of Matthew in the New Testament. You know, they say, Lord, you're leaving, but when are you going to come back? And Jesus was, you know, telling them about the times and all of that stuff. And he said, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Very prophetic saying that in the end times is going to be just like the days of Noah. As in the book of Daniel, it said that in the end times, they would try to mingle themselves again with the seed of men. But iron shall not mix with clay. It will not cleave. So that was a prophetic word to let us know what the end times is going to be like. That's what transhumanism is all about. It's crazy, but it's real. It's truth. And that's what the world is turning into. You know, I was watching the Super Bowl years ago. And they had a commercial that said that the Giants were going to come out the shadows. And they were going to strike. I mean, they were going to hit us, catch us off guard, try to destroy God's creation. I was sitting in a room full of people at a Super Bowl party, and not one person understood the commercial or even caught what was being said. I'm getting ready to show you guys the commercial. I want you guys to take a look at it, listen to the words. It seems very prophetic to me. Hopefully, you guys pick up on the same things, but I'm going to share it with you. Leave a comment or whatever the case may be. I have a lot more content to share with you guys. Remember, we're fighting a supernatural enemy, so you guys will need supernatural protection, supernatural guidance, supernatural blessings, and supernatural wisdom. I suggest you seek out the glorious light of Jesus Christ, because all knees shall bow to him. And all tongues shall confess that Jesus is Lord. This is everything above he above the earth, on the earth, and under the earth. And so, seek out the King of Kings as we move closer and closer to this end time war that's getting ready to break out into the open. I love you guys. Till next time. May God continue to bless you and your family. The world is full of giants. They have always been here. Lumbering in the schoolyards. Limping through the alleys. We had to learn how to deal with them. How to overcome them. We were small, but fast. Remember? We were like a wind appearing out of nowhere. We knew that being clever was more important than being the biggest kid in the neighborhood. As long as we keep our heads down, as long as we work hard, trust what we feel in our guts, our hearts, then we're ready. We wait until they get sleepy, Wait until they get so big they can barely move. Then we walk out of the shadows. Quietly walk out of the dark. And strike.